Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the application of Cramer's rule on market model. We shall see how we can use it to solve an economic situation which is known as the market model. Let us get started. As you can see in this situation, we have a market model which is partial in this case and we have a demand function, supply function be available hai. and this is the third equation which is very well known which is the equilibrium condition. Now whenever we are to solve something using matrix method we rearrange them with a certain sequence of variables. Aap dek sakte hain, humne demand function ko after replacing it with simple Q bar showing that ab quantity demanded, quantity supplied ke barabar hai. and therefore we have equilibrium. Now Doing this is now easy because we can rearrange them. Firstly, we have Q ko likhna hai aur uske baad P ko. Ye order hai jise hum follow kar rahe Q bar minus B, P bar is equal to A. Constant A side pe aur variables are on the left hand side. Now, we have rearranged the supply function as well and it appears like this. Q pehle aur uske baad price aur uske baad we have the constant on the right hand side. Isse hum extract kar sakte hai very easily the uh, coefficient matrix and the equilibrium showing variable matrix and the constant matrix. So it is very much easy. How we can extract these. Once we have these, now we are to find the determinant of the coefficient matrix, which is this. Let us assume that it is A. Iska determinant find out karenge in order to avoid the singularity. Let us see. Now this is the determinant of, uh, let us go back and let us make sure that we do not commit this mistake because what usually happens is that we A ko upar likhte te hai aur A1 ko niche likhte te hai. So let me remind you that when we are talking about this situation, we use that formula of the Kramer's rule which we in numerator mein A1 ko likhenge aur denominator mein original a ko likhenge. Now this is the uh, column vector which is going to help us to make A1. Ise hum iski pehle column ke saath replace kar denge. And we will be getting AC and minus B and minus D. Now let us see if it happens. Jase aap se mene arz kiya that this is A1 after replacing the first column. And now this is simple A because it is the actual matrix in its determinant form. So let us be sure that we are not committing that mistake here. So as per the formula, A1 determinant divided by A determinant. So Q1 is the first variable, jo pehla variable hai, hum usko is tarike se find out kar sakte hai, Kramer's rule ko apply karke. Now the answer of this is equal to this and the answer of this determinant is in the denominator. It is very easy to solve the determinant especially when it is 2 into 2 order. Ye hum already kar chuke hai. So this is a small DIY for you. Aap ise khud kare. And the answer will be this. So you can verify ke kya waake hi Q asterisk that is the equilibrium output is equal to this. Now we shall be talking about the next variable which is P asterisk or P bar. It is just a notational difference. Uske andar hum second column of the coefficient matrix hum usko replace kar denge with the constant matrix. So if I go back and if I see AC ko hum pehle uh, dusre column ki jaga likhenge. And what we will get is here. Aapne dekha ke second column ab replaced. Aur ye hai original hamare paas determinant. So now we see that we are dividing A2 determinant with A determinant. Now it is very easy to solve this numerator and this denominator which is again a small rehearsal for you. And the answer would be equal to this. So you see Kramer's rule which we usually do in mathematics can be easily applied on economic situations and help us to find out the equilibrium values. Thank you.